So in this video I am going to share with you that how can you add a trash functionality into your Laravel application. Well with the help of Laravel you can easily add trash functionality by using soft deletes. So uh, you already have seen that when in many application that whenever you delete your data it will not delete permanently but it will go to your trash and you can recover that data easily. So we are going to implement the same functionality into this application. So here you can see this is the application that I have created in my last video and I have given you the demonstration that how can you add pagination links into your Laravel application here you can see. So uh, first of all what we need to do we need to add a delete button here in the table to delete uh, the record. So let's open the Visual Studio and let's go to the view in my case it's index.blade.php now let's add a th in the table let's call it actions now let's add td and in this td I want to add a link let's give it a class button bootstrap class and I want to add uh, a bootstrap icon in this link so let's go to the bootstrap icon and uh, I am using bootstrap CDN so I am going to use boots, uh, uh, bootstrap icon svg html uh, so let's search for trash here because uh, I want to delete the record let's choose uh, this one so let's copy the html because I am using bootstrap cdn let's paste it in here let's save it and let's go to the browser and let's refresh so here you can see we got our delete button here now we have to add soft deletes into our model and migration so let's open the model in which you want to add soft delete in my case I want to add a uh, soft delete in my user model so let's add use, use soft deletes now also you have to add soft deletes into your migration so let's open your migration in my case I have users migration so let's add a column here that is soft deletes column and what this function will do it will uh, add a deleted add column into your table now we have to add the uh, we have to go to the our controller in my case it's home controller and we have to add a function here to delete a record delete our record so this function will get the parameter that is id will accept the parameter id and we can easily get the user with the help of this id so this is the general way uh, to delete record in laravel elegant so let's get the uh, user by id and let's call the function delete to this user and let's return redirect back and let's save this now we have to add a uh, route of this function we have to create route for this function that is delete function but first of all we have to run the migration because we have added new column to our users migration here you can see we have added a new column delete it at that is soft delete column so let's uh, run php artisan migrate colon fresh uh, I'm, I'm also running seed because I have to seed the users data but if you are not seeding data then you can just run php artisan migrate colon fresh so let's run this So here you can see our um, migration has been migrated successfully and here you can see all of the data ha also has been seeded. Now uh, we can uh, easily add a route so let's go to the web.php and let's create a route for this uh, delete function. So let's uh, create a get request and let's create users slash id slash delete because we also want to get the id in a parameter so uh, let's call controller in my case home controller and let's give uh, our function name that is delete and also give this route a name let's say users uh, dot delete now set, let's save this and let's go to the view and in this link now we can add uh, our route so let's uh, give our route that is users dot delete uh, yes uh, users dot delete yes so now we also have to give the uh, id in a parameter so let's give the id user id 
and this id is coming from the uh, for each loop here you can see now let's save this and let's go to the uh, front end part and let's refresh the browser okay see so we got an error syntax error okay so we forget to add the semicolon into the routes file here you can see now we have added so let's delete the record let's delete this record here you can see we have successfully deleted the record here you can see the id of user 1 has been deleted here you can see id of user 2 has been deleted successfully so we have added deleted functionality into this project now we have this uh, now this data will not delete it permanently this will go to the trash now we now how can we see the trash data so so to see the trash data we have to add a link here so let's add a link here and let's copy this trash icon because we are we we uh, i'm going to add the same icon you can change the icon from the bootstrap link from from the bootstrap icon website so you can see so i want to navigate to the trash uh, screen when i click this icon so let's add a link here and uh, let's save this and uh, here you can see this is a link now let's also uh, give it a bootstrap class to make it beautiful here you can see uh, this is the button now we have to navigate to the trash screen whenever we want to click this button so let's add a new function to the home controller first and let's give it a name trash and uh, now we will get the users all of the users but only trashed users so we can use a eloquent function so the function is the only trash function and this function will return only deleted users that will not delete it permanently but delete it as a trash so uh, now now we have to return this users return this users into our view but we haven't created any view yet so let's create a view first let's uh, create a view trash dot plate dot php now uh, let's copy this index dot plate dot php and let's change the name instead of all users is trash users and uh, we do not need this total users and we also do not need this uh, trash button because we are we are in a trash so we got an error so this is because we haven't added the view into this function so let's add a view that is our trash view now now let's go and create a route for this function so let's create a route that is also a get route uh, let's say users slash slash trash and then let's call a controller that is home controller and let's call a function that is trash function and let's give it a name uh, users dot trash okay uh, now save this and uh, now we have to go to the index dot blade dot php and uh, the link that we have added to navigate to the treasure screen and in this link now we uh, can add the route so the route is users dot uh, trash and we do not need any parameters so let's save it and refresh this okay here you can see now let's click trash and uh, we got an error okay so undefined variable users so this is because we didn't uh, compact the users variable into the view now let's save this and let's refresh this okay we got another error so because uh, so this is because of pagination links here you can see now we only get two users that we have deleted from the index view here you can see we have now only the trash users into this uh, table now in here in this table instead of this uh, delete buttons we need to add two buttons here the first button is to restore the record and the second button is to delete the record permanently so let's add the buttons here so let's go to the bootstrap icon website and let's search for uh, restore okay so let's search for refresh so let's choose this one and let's copy the svg html 
and let's paste in it here and let's save this here you can see uh, now we got the uh, refresh icon now let's remove the route from this link because we need to create another route to uh, restore the data now let's change the button color to success here you can see we got a beautiful button here now let's add another button f to delete the record permanently so let's copy this link and let's paste it in here and let's add a different icon here let's search for um, let's search for delete and you can choose any icon from here but let me choose this one okay this icon and let's copy the svg html and let's go to the uh, trash view and let's paste the icon here and let's save this trash view and let's change the color of button here you can see we we have now our two buttons to restore the data and to delete that data permanently now let's go to the controller and let's create a function to restore the data so let's create a function let's uh, name it restore trash and in this function we need to accept a uh, id in a parameter and then we will get the user by id so let's get the user by uh, the id now we need to restore the data that we uh, get from the id so let's call a function a elegant function restore now this function will restore the this user that we get by the id now let's return uh, let's return uh, redirect return redirect back so this is how it is easy to restore your deleted data in laravel now let's save this and let's create a route for this function let's create a route get 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 route and let's say users uh, slash and then id in a parameter and then slash and restore uh, yes restore and then home controller call home controller and then the function name so the function is the uh, restore trash now let's uh, give this route a name let's say users uh, dot restore uh, yes restore now let's save this and now let's add this route into the this button let's go to the trash view and let's add this route into this um, into this button let's call this route and the route is users dot restore and we need to uh, send the id in a parameter now let's save it and uh, let's go to the our trash view and here you can see we have our trash users now let's restore the data but first let's open our index page in a new tab to check uh, that either the data is restoring or not here you can see these are the users that are not deleted and uh, these are the users that are deleted so let's uh, restore this user so let's restore this first user here you can see now let's refresh the index page here you can see we have successfully restored the user that are in our trash now le let's restore this one and let's go to the index page and refresh here you can see we have successfully added the trash functionality restore functionality uh, into this uh, application so now we have we need to add the per delete permanently functionality into this uh, laravel application so let's add a new function into the home controller and this uh, call this function let's say delete permanent and this function will also accept the id as a in a parameter because we need to fetch the user by id so let's uh, fetch the user by id and we need to delete this user that we have fetched permanently from this from this application from the database so to delete permanently there is a function by eloquent laravel and the function is force delete so this function will delete permanently uh, force delete your uh, trash data from your application now let's redirect back and uh, let's save this let's create a route for this function and this is also a get request 
and let's say users slash and then the id that we need to accept in a parameter and then slash uh, let's say delete permanent then let's call a controller that is home controller and then our function and the function is delete permanent and let's give uh, a name to this route users dot delete permanent and let's save it now let's use this route into our um, into our link that is uh, delete permanent link so let's add this route into this link that is users dot delete permanent so this is the route delete permanent and let's give it uh, uh, let's uh, give a id in a parameter let's refresh the page and let's delete a user so here you can see the our record has been deleted successfully let's delete this one also now let's go to the index page and let's refresh this and here you can see we didn't get the data that we have deleted because it has been deleted permanently now let's uh, check this out again let's delete some data from this index uh, table here you can see now we got all of the deleted uh, users into our trash system now let's test this out again and let's restore and delete these data so let's uh, delete permanently this data and restore this one and delete this one now let's go to the index page and here you can see we have now only this data has been restored and the other one has been deleted permanently from our record. So uh, we have successfully implemented the trash functionality into, the, into this application and I hope that this video will help you to add trash functionality into your application and if you have if you are facing any problems or if you have any concerns then you can mention your problems or questions into the comment box uh, of this video i will reach you out and i will try my best to solve your queries thank you and i will also upload um, this uh, application code into my github account and i will share the link into my description so you can easily get the application and test this out